Hey guys, welcome back to the full stack video chat project with Golang. So here we had uh, in our hub.go file, we had created the struct for our hub. What I need now is a function that helps me to create a new instance of the hub. So you've, you've seen this very often that, you know, with a struct, there's an accompanying function that helps us to create a new instance of that struct, which is usually empty. So this is a new hub. This function creates a new hub for us. And it basically returns a hub, hub in this case being this struct. And, oh, and that obviously means that it's going to have these four values. And we'll have a broadcast, we'll have a register, then it'll have uh, unregister. And by now we know that uh, people who are logging in, logging in in a sense, opening up their browser uh, to this connection, to this uh, you know application basically, are called are going to be called clients. When they are uh, onto their browser, it's going to register it. When they close off their browser, it's going to unregister it. Because you create a create a kind of a room where multiple clients register and unregister depending on whether they open up the connection or they close the connection. And uh, this is why, why when somebody writes a message, it's a broadcast because uh, it goes to everybody. So for broadcast, it's going to uh, create a new channel. So we'll have to use the make function to create a channel. So it's a channel and we know that broadcast is a channel of bytes. I'm just copying and pasting from here actually. For n register, uh, for register, we'll have again channel of type client, client being the struct that we have defined out here already, which is, which has these things. And unregister this client and then clients have a map of client with boolean. Okay. Now, what we'll do is we will create a function called run and it's going to help us with uh, a couple of <coughs> situations. So there will be a few cases and we'll use select case for it. If there's a case for registration, then you want to make this true. If there's a case for unregister, then you want to say clients client and then delete the clients so in case of unregistering you're deleting the client from the list of the clients otherwise you're adding that client there and we'll close client dot send okay the case uh, after this the uh, Select should not end here. It should be uh, basically all these cases are cases fall under select, so can't end up, end up here. Okay, so uh, after the unregister, we have the case for broadcasting the message. where h you've already understood is the hub and h already has these things broadcast register unregistered so that's what we're handling <coughs> and here for client we'll range over all of our clients because we want to send uh, the broadcast message to all of them so we'll select k 
case to send the message and for default oops sorry h dot clients comma client okay so now our hub file is complete created a hub struct created a new uh, hub function which helps us to create a new hub returns a new hub and a run function takes in the hub and checks for uh, registering unregistering and broadcasting so all of those situations have been handled and now we can go ahead and start working on the client.go file now you perhaps notice a small issue around unregistered because that was the, the issue is that the spelling here of unregistered is not correct. It should have been unregistered. <laughs> and now all that issue has also gone away. So our file looks perfectly awesome. We're ready to go over to the um, client.co file now. So I'll see you in the next video. This was it for today's video. Uh, we're building it up slowly, uh, point, part by part, but we are slowly getting, we are definitely getting there. And um, I hope you're kind of getting the hang of what we're trying to do. Um, quite straightforward now, since if you've been watching these five, six videos now, I'm pretty sure you understand what is a client, what is a hub, and how people register, unregister. Uh, they're not actually unregistering and reg registering, right? Whenever somebody opens up their browser, it's registered. Now they close the browser as an unregister and the message that you send to everybody is broadcast so uh, it's quite straightforward that way so do subscribe and thanks a lot for watching see you in the next episode see you